So we've got the amplifier from the Seberg here. It's a four transistor unit to set up and push pull. So you got left and right channel audio, all that. Your uh, volume control is back here. And uh, then you've got your speaker outputs on the front, bass treble, and then a, a scratch compensator up there plugged into the reject mech. Uh, and normally I would have shown this off and shown what needed to be done to deal with it, but I kind of got carried away. And you can see from this lovely uh, selection of old German capacitors, we have, I've already gone through and replaced all but one of the electrolytics. Um, and that's because I don't happen to have a 2700 microfarad 50 volt rated cap for the main filter. I've got one of those on order. But I got all the other ones out there because I have a whole bunch on, on hand. So we'll show you what that looks like. Uh, we've got all of that. Put it up here. Admire my uh, handy work. Every single one of those little, little, little black canisters is a brand new electrolytic. And of course, this uh, the hit the fifth twenty seven hundred right there we got to deal with. But uh, the rest of this uses a disc type and uh, film caps. The orange drops and these, the gener and these generally they aren't bad. And I've already tested this unit with my iPhone. Not quite the right input type, but it sounds really good. You just can't crank the phone up too much, or else the uh, the input signal will, will distort because it's designed for the cartridge in the joke box and not the uh, low impedance output from my uh, phone there, which is probably expecting like an 8 ohm speaker or something. So I got through, replaced all that. The uh, tone controls seem to work really good. Scratch compensator works like you'd figure it would. I've got, the only the record I have is pretty scratched, but it's still going to sound like garbage until I uh, get everything reinstalled and hook up the, uh, the, the auto speed unit to make it run at the right, right rate. Uh, one thing I do still need to do with this besides this capacitor is the original fuse holder for this right here. Someone lost the top of it and they decided to just go in and solder this uh, glass fuse in place around it. So I'm going to take this out and uh, get another more modern fuse holder so that you can actually access it from the top of the unit. And it's a fairly low uh, value too. It's 0.8 amps. And it rather specifically states on the top of the unit that the amplifier will be damaged if you use anything higher than 0.8 amps. Yeah, that warning right there actually. See, I thought this was like a light bulb socket, but it's actually supposed to be a fuse holder and the original top is gone. So, take the old one out, put in a more modern one, and uh, yeah, see how that goes. And I think now we'll go ahead and I'm going to hook it back up to the... Uh, record changer and just see if it changes the uh, <laughs> how awful Yingle Bell sounds. Yeah. It's almost to the end of the record.